virtual student setup, I do want you to make sure you notate either in your head or on a piece of paper some of the characteristics you see about these novels that you find. You might find that all of the covers look a certain way, that the wording sounds similar. Keep that in mind so that we can discuss that here in a bit. I'm going to do a check for timing. It has been 10 minutes. On your fist to five, five means I need five more minutes. Four, four, three, two, and one. Zero means I am done and ready to go. Virtual kids, if you'll go ahead and just put your hand up if you are good to go and keep it down if you need a little extra time. So let's five, four, three, two, one, zero. It's starting to look like we need three or four more minutes. So let's go ahead and add that onto the timer. If you're finished and you've already turned yours in, go in and navigate through. See if you can find a specific book and how you would explain it for someone to search for. I'll come back together and face-to-face -face kids, I know there's not very many of you, but you can kind of shoulder partner up. I know we're spread out. Um, but feel free to either pass a note or just talk a little louder. Um, virtual kids, feel free to write in the chat. But I want you guys to share a few of the resources that you found. So looking at war, did you both happen to choose the top one? Did you both happen to just scroll down? How did you verify that that one that specific text was a historical fiction. And what did you notice about it? What were the covers like? Can someone tell me what you see you saw consistently? So one of our virtual friends said the colors were a little dull, right? They weren't super bright. And that does seem to be a reoccurring um, thing, even though there were bright colors in the past. What else? Perfect. The clothing tends to match that time frame, right? So it could be a bonnet, a toga, whatever the case may be. So I want you to take a few minutes to share with your shoulder partner in the chat. You can unmute and talk, your, talk to yourselves about similarities that you found with our covers about our characteristics as well as the actual texts that you found. You have been a wonderful audience and more so than that you have been so involved. I loved hearing everything that you found throughout our historical fiction process. Now there's one last thing I'm going to have you do. We had a pretest. So now if we're going to use our prefixes, what next? A post-test. No, this is not a grade, but this is going to show me how much you remember, as well as showing Dr. Cook. Dr. Cook will be receiving a copy of all of these, so keep that in mind. This is going to help her guide her lesson process as well. Virtual kids, your link is in the chat. Face-to-face -face kids, Dr. Cook is going to come around again as I touch base on a few of these questions. So one, two, and three, those are the same again. Our first and last name, our class period, and our teacher. After this, you never have to fill that out again. <laughs> so number four says, which of the following are characteristics of a historical fiction text? And it says select all that apply. So that is a checkbox. You can click multiple ones. So if you see one that um, doesn't sound right, don't click it. But if you think it is a characteristic, go ahead and click it. There are some of these questions that look very familiar to the first time around, but now I know you guys have absorbed so much new knowledge that this is going to be easy peasy. Okay, number nine, while it is optional, 
I would like you to take a moment to answer it. What topic would you like help finding, or I'm sorry, what topic would you like in help finding a historical fiction on? So what topic interests you? Now that we realize that historical fiction does have that fun imagine, imagination put into it by our author, what time period or what might you be interested? And then I can pull some books and bring them up to the class for Dr. Cook.